In total, I've paid Wes Watson $22,500. And also, freedom, bubbers. So, people will come on here and they're like, oh my God, you got scammed. Oh my God. First off, what I would do if I were you is I would ask, how the fuck can someone afford $22,000 to pay to someone, right? That'd be my first, my first observation. And um, not only that, I bought my wife a car right shortly before that and I had uh, planned to leave my job. So that was spent around $42,000, almost $50,000 pretty much, all in the same time. And um, somewhat drained our bank account, our savings. But it's all about the power of who you can get around, someone teaching you what they've already done and the story behind all this is that I was a Marine. I got a financial background. So I climbed my way up in the corporate world. That's how I had the money to do the investments that I've done. And um, throughout my investment journeys, I tried to open up a tattoo shop. It didn't work out too well. Um, me and the people just didn't see eye to eye. And then I gave my buddy a business loan of $30,000 to do a water mitigation job. That also flopped did not do great. The business is doing good for him. We just didn't see eye to eye. Took him way longer to pay me back than it should have. I made zero profit off of it and I will never not, I would, would never go into business with a friend without signing a contract ever again in my life. So that's the story behind all of this that's gonna keep unfolding. And I've always had fitness certifications. I really was into fitness, but I gave up on fitness and I gained over a hundred pounds. And um, I've lost 110 pounds. I'm sober from alcohol now. And my motto is making men and veterans strong again through destroying their vices. And my ultimate goal is just to give better fathers back, fathers back to their kids, better husbands back to the wives. My wife's over here grumpy, so it doesn't matter how good I do over here. Just joking. But we're on our way to get our daughter from gymnastics. As you can see, this is a normal work day. I'm kicking it, my wife's kicking it, my daughter's kicking it. So people are like, oh, it's a scam to ever hire Wes and now I don't have a job. And you know, sometimes you're gonna have a three, $4,000 day and some days or some weeks you might not have anything, but that's just business in general. And then where the people say, oh, I got scammed part comes in, as I'm gonna explain it to you, is their work ethic sucks. I'll have people in the group ask me how I'm doing so well and how I was able to leave my job. And then I'm like, well, were you doing this part of the blueprint? No, I, I have, I've been skipping that. Have you tried to get on podcast? No, I didn't think it was that important. How many comments do you leave a day? Which isn't even part of what Wes even teaches you, but it's just, if you're on social media to make money, how many comments are you leaving a day to have people see your face? Well, I'm not doing that. And then I go to their page and they're not even responding to people's comments on their own page. Here's what I do. I do 100 comments a day, I send out 100 DMs a day, and I try to get on as many podcasts as I can. And I make YouTube videos, I make Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and the only part that Wes really teaches you is Instagram, and you can make a lot of money on Instagram. But I broaden my horizons, right? I'm like, if he's gonna teach me this, I'm going to 100 exit. I'm gonna do this on every single platform across the board. And then I'm gonna make more videos and I'm gonna make more content and I'm gonna network and I'm gonna to fly to places to network with people and I'm gonna do different things in this in the fitness industry that other people aren't doing. And then I'm gonna go on live videos and I'm gonna get, get people like Stan Efferty to come on and tell his, his diet. And then I'm gonna tell him my story and then I'm gonna get his following. And then I'm gonna to pay to network. And then I'm gonna get shouted out by C.T. Fletcher on Instagram. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hang out with all these people that I know. And I'm gonna to go to California and hit some workouts and network with the people out there. And these people aren't doing any of that. So when they're like, I got scammed or it doesn't work, anything works if you actually put the effort in. So I, I, I gave Wes $22,000, like I said at the beginning, but it wasn't just for his coaching. His coaching was $12,500 for six months, which my coaching's up next month. And I went to the Boston sit down event. The Boston sit down event, I got to meet Andy Frisella, Birdman, DJ. Wes, obviously, Eric Spofford. From one, one event, someone I met there paid for one of my high-ticket coaching, and I can show you the DMs if you guys wanna come on here and say it's a scam and this, that, and the third. 
I have a low ticket program and then a high ticket program. A high ticket program is for people that have a lot of money and paying the $750 for three months is just not enough for them to hold accountable. I showed the guy the pet. I pay, I charge $299 a month for mindset, fitness, and nutrition coaching. I'm an ISSA master trainer, a Marine Corps veteran. I've lost the weight myself. And I, I really have life experience unlike other life coaches out here. And I was the youngest plant manager in the corporate world at 26 years old of a 90,000 square foot chemical plant. I have a Six Sigma Black Belt project, manager, agile scrum, human resourcing, and two years of financial management. So I can even improve your finances. So I really live this life and I can really help you. There's some people out here that really, really all they're going to try to teach you is macros. And I can't agree, but maybe that is a little overpriced for what they do for you. But that's not me. I will change your entire fucking life. And I'll help you get sober because sobriety is a superpower. So the other $10,000 I paid was for going to the Boston sit down. I paid for the exclusive dinner and I went to dinner with Birdman, Andy Frisella, Wes Watson, Eric Spofford, Nick Santos Santos. I don't know how to say his last name, but he's like really motivational speaker that doesn't have any arms and legs. I got to have dinner with Nick personally, sat down, talked to him and his manager. Paying to get into rooms like that is never a scam and it's definitely not a scam if you use it right. So the only people that are scamming them getting scammed are the people that are scamming themselves out of after you pay for the blueprint you never utilize it like Wes gives you group calls people don't even talk in the group call and then they'll message me afterwards like how are you doing this how are you doing this and like I had someone reach out yesterday like hey brother I need to know like I haven't made any sales how do I do this I'm like how many DMs have you sent out well I haven't sent out any how are people supposed to know what you do if you only have 200 followers on Instagram and you're not telling people what you do, or at least reaching out and being friendly to them to where they come to your profile and see what you do. Or they'll just send a straight payment link. Like, hey, I do this, do you wanna buy this? That's not how you make sales. If any of you ever try to hit on a girl in your fucking life, like would you just, well, some of you got weirdos do do this. Like you just send the dick pic in the inbox and you're like, what's up? Remember that dude that tried to do that to you? And uh, so I sent him a picture of my balls flexing back, you know what I'm saying? But uh, these people were like out here, like if, like if you cannot get a girl, you cannot be good at sales. Because if you cannot speak correctly and get what you want, you cannot be good at this shit. So when people say this stuff's like scam or they got scammed is, they're just not putting in the work, they're not putting in the consistency and they're not focusing on building a brand. And then you'll come in and people will say, oh, it's a scam because of how much he charges. But then you guys love and idolize Alex Harmozy, who teaches you how to sell high ticket programs and get tons of leads. So just because he seems like he has a nicer approach, he's not a scam. Alex Harmozy used to be a part of Prestige Labs. You would have to pay three to $4,000 to get into their program to sell their supplements. Everyone wants to pinpoint and attack one person when all the people that are successful that you guys look up to all do this in a different way. And people have to pay high ticket sometimes to hold themselves accountable because $750 is not a lot to them. If you can't fathom that, it's because you haven't even tapped into how you have to have a better mindset to be successful. Like people come on here and they're like, oh, you got fucking scammed. You spent 20 grand. The first thing I would ask is like, how the fuck does someone have 20 grand to spend? You guys don't even have 500 to spend and you're telling somebody that spent 20 grand they're doing it wrong? Somebody did something, right? So, do I think paying Wes for six months of business coaching was worth it? I do. I met a lot of people. My Instagram's at 7,000 followers now. Um, and now that I'm making good money, I just turned on ads so that way I don't have to reach out as much to people. I don't have to do as many cold DMs. Um, I just put $1,000 on the next 10 days. And then that's going to make me, you know, whatever it makes me. And then I don't have to reach out to cold DMs anymore. I might sell 10 $750 packages, made $7,500 off a thousand, just keep doing that instead of reaching out for DMs. But the things he teaches you, you can absolutely build a brand, make a ton of money without spending any money. And it's all, at the end of the day, up to you. So are you going to actually make it work? Or are you going to make excuses? Are you going to stay fat? Or are you going to get shredded? It's all about the work you're willing to put in. If you're willing to track your macros every day, you'll be more shredded than the person that's not. 
Some people skip macros, like my wife, and then she wonders why she hasn't lost any weight in two weeks. What? What? Anyways, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and as always, do better. What are you talking about?